Hey guys, so Third CF here, and I've got a, an Attack of the Clones vintage collection review for you guys today. And it is Zam Wessel, the vintage collection. This figure is the squad. It's like really, really, really nice. It's got great detailing, like totally great detailing. It comes with a ton, and when I say a ton, I mean a ton of accessories. It's got like seven in all. Um, six or seven. But, um, its, it's articulation is great as well. So, yeah. And this hasn't been a figure that's been released too many times, so. Let me show you the card back before I get onto the figure. A nice picture of Zam Wessel from Attack of the Clones there. There is the Kenner logo. Attack of the Clones and Zam Wessel is right there. Alright. Now, the back of the packaging shows the original Zam Wessel from 2000 2002. It's pretty nice. I mean, the figure, not this one. This one looks kind of weird, but anyway. Um, other figures from the wave here. I have Mace Windu, I'm going to review him next, and I kind of want the Kit Fisto, but since I already have one, my dad will not allow it. He wants me to get different figures, not the same ones over and over again, but, oh well. I guess I won't get it, but I kind of want it. It fell. Wait. There you go, okay. That's enough for the card back. And now on to the figure, and it's a ton of accessories. It comes with a small blaster pistol here, which can fit into her holster. doesn't fit perfectly. It's kind of loose, but it's fine, I guess. It comes with a pretty long blaster rifle here. There you go. Um... It's also got a removable helmet, and the head sculpt's pretty okay. I mean, it doesn't look like her exactly, but I guess it's fine. And the removable helmet also has a removable headpiece kind of thing. Uh, sorry, a sheet kind of thing here. And then you could, when like she's undercover, you can have this one on, so you can't see her face. But when she just doesn't really care, you can have this one here. And just make it look like the sheet's hanging, which is really nice. I like that accessory. Um, it also has this weird headpiece kind of thing here, because I really don't know what it is. I really do not know what it is at all. Can someone please tell me what this is? I, I just really have no idea. Um, the helmet's pretty nice. Nice and shiny. It also has an... Wait a second, okay. It also has an interchangeable head, which is the... This is the Claudite head, the normal one. And this is another one, and you just pop off this head. And you stick this one on. Like that. Now, the kind of bad thing about this is that when you have the Claudite head, you still have the skin-colored neck here. So what I like to do is that I get the helmet, and I put this one over it like that if you could see that yeah so that you can't really see the neck but um it's really nice sculpt though the head the clawed eye head sculpt pretty nice um articulation is really nice too it's got a ball hunted head ball hinge shoulders and elbows swivel wrist a uh, ball jointed torso up here swivel hips ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles so yeah, that's very good articulation. Very great detailing too. If you look at the skirt, it's like a plaid kind of thing, but it's really like nice textured. Like it's got little bumps on it, like stitches and stuff. It's really nice. It's also got this apparatus kind of thing. I really don't know what that is. Um, it's got some chain here and some other nice stuff here. Really nice figure. Um, so yeah.
let me show you the head, the normal head. Well, I'm, I'm guessing this is the normal head, but I mean the Zam Wessel head that we know of. The human one. With the hanging down one, because I didn't get to show you that. There you go. And it doesn't lay down perfectly, but it's fine, I guess. See? It's like that. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for Zam Wessel. Um, so, yeah. This is Zam Wessel from Attack of the Clones. Figure, Vince Collection figure number 30. Yeah, that's pretty much it. May the force be with you. Bye.